Hi guys, good afternoon. Okay, I'm gonna be recording my last lesson for today, which is just our afternoon meeting. And But I do wanna go over some of the things I've already posted. So I did our writing lesson, which I will do tomorrow morning. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I did it this afternoon because I wasn't ready. And I did, we did um, a health lesson. We read about flu season and we did math um, lesson 19a which is our addition story problems so there there's a recording of that here is the ela lesson for today and i'm just i was just previewing the unit for the month which is about health all about health and wellness um, so i looked at the vocabulary words for the month which is related to health and the body and how to stay healthy like your heart, keep your heart healthy and your lungs healthy and your brain healthy, okay? And then I did the morning meeting this morning on Zoom. Um, okay, so that was our calendar, doing the calendar worksheet. And I did the journal page for this morning. So there's quite a few lessons already posted. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Okay, so, and I haven't heard from many of you to see what um, what times you would be able to make the lesson. So I'm probably gonna have tomorrow's lessons at the same time, the live one. So 9 a.m. I'll be live for the morning meeting. 10 a.m. I'll probably do reading, 11 math, 12.30, we'll do a social studies or health lesson and then afternoon meeting. But I will, I'm going to try to have the schedule updated and posted before I leave the classroom today. And I am also going to call some of the, um, your parents just to let them know and to, to catch up and let you guys know what's going on. So I have a lot to do today. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on with this lesson. Let's do the daily reflection page. How was your day? So put your name at the top of the paper like this and write the date. So today is Monday, November, I'm sorry, November, January, it's one, the month is one, the first month of the year, the day is 11, and the year is 21. And how was your day from a one, which is the worst, to a seven, which is the best, or somewhere in between? Okay. So it wasn't the best day ever. I mean, it would have been better if I had gotten to see some of you, and I did see one of you, and I'm, I'm, very, very grateful to have one student attend my lesson, but I would like to see more of you. So it would be better if more of you would attend. So please check the schedule, watch the videos, let me know how you are participating because I need to know for attendance, okay? So I would say five because I wish I could have seen more of you. I wish we had in-person learning because I think that's more fun and I think you guys agree. Okay, so how did you do your best today? I did my best by, well, how would you rate yourself today? Were you working hard? Were you making safe choices? Were you being a good friend, listening to teachers or following rules? And I guess for myself, I'm gonna say I worked hard today because I was pretty much busy all day. I didn't, I didn't get to get much, many breaks in. I think I'm gonna take a quick walking break right now, just get some air and go outside because I didn't even get to go outside today. So I worked hard. Did you? How could you have done better? I could have done better by working hard, making safe choices, being a good friend, listening to teacher or following rules. Okay, so I worked hard, but did you? Were you doing your work? Were you looking at the posted lessons today? Were you on some of the Zoom lessons? If you weren't, maybe you could circle working hard. I worked hard, so I'm not gonna circle. I'll circle being a good friend, okay? And what was your favorite part of school today? Well, for me, oh boy, today was tough, but I guess technology, technology helped me do all my work and get all my work done, because if I didn't have that, I would be having a pretty tough time getting all this work done and teaching you. So I'm going to draw a picture of my technology, which is my computer that I was at all day, looking at my screen and recording these lessons or doing these lessons live on Zoom. So here's me 
on the computer screen because that's where I you could find me today. <laughs> Whoops. On the computer screen. Okay, that's not a very good picture of me, but that's me on my computer screen. So technology helped me do my work today. Did it help you? Let me know, okay? All right, so that's our daily reflection. And I don't have much else for you today. Um, I would go over the schedule with you for tomorrow, but I am working on it. So actually, I'm, see I'm making changes because I thought we were gonna be in-person learning. So tomorrow here, we're gonna be doing our morning meeting. I'm gonna move it from 8.30 um, since nobody is going to be coming in at nine. And also because I think it's a better for you, hopefully, to have it a little bit later. But if you want it even later, like 9.30, let me know, I can adjust the times. But if I don't hear from you, I'm just gonna set it at whatever time that I think you might, you might be able to attend. So nine o'clock. Please attend on Zoom, okay? The same Zoom that I'm recording on now and the ones we have our live meetings on. If you don't know that, that number to the Zoom, let me know and I will send it to you. Okay, so I'm working on the schedule. So I just have a video on health to show you, okay? So we're gonna watch a short video about health and then we will end for the day. Hey, Mom and Dad. This month in advisory, we have been talking all about developing healthy habits. Here are some things that you can do to help me make those things part of my regular routine so I will be more likely to do them the rest of my life. Rest. Did you know that 12 to 18 year olds need between 8 and 10 hours of sleep a night? You can help me get the right amount of sleep by encouraging me to start homework early in the evening, helping me to shoot for a regular bedtime, and making sure that I turn off technology at least an hour before I go to bed. Fruits and veggies. Encourage me to eat healthy by stocking the house with lots of produce in a variety of colors. Teach me to fill half my plate with fruits and vegetables at every meal. This will power my body with foods and make me feel great. Exercise. Help me to find physical activities that I love to do. Talk to me about how exercise supports my mental and physical health. Not only is it good for my heart, my muscles, but exercise helps me sleep better, manage stress, and feel happier. So, let's walk the dog. Go for a swim, jump on the trampoline, or go sledding. I know I'm not always excited about exercising, so making it fun will help. Stress. What do you do when life feels out of control? Do you exercise, meditate, play music, or dance around? Help me to find what works for me. Notice when I am stressed. Talk with me about why and help me figure out what I can do to feel better. No chemicals. Remind me that my brain is still developing and that I need to be careful about putting things into my body that can affect that. My lungs are made to breathe air and my mind is meant to think clearly. Drugs and alcohol get in the way of my body and mind doing all of the amazing things they were built to do. I need to make choices that fit with the healthy, long life that I want to live. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for loving me and showing me how to live a healthy life. Remind me that every day is another chance to get stronger, eat better, live healthier, and be the best version of myself. Okay, so that was a good video for both students and parents, okay? Because that's what we're going to be talking about all month. The month of January is all about health and the body. And that is some good information on staying healthy. So some ways that you can stay healthy, especially at your age, you need a lot of sleep. You need more sleep maybe than, than older people or adults. Um, sleep is how you kind of rest and recharge and, and, um, and heal. And then eating healthy, eating lots of fruits and vegetables, eating a lot of food with a lot of nutrients that you need, like vitamins and minerals. Um, exercising, exercising is very important to stay healthy too. It helps keep your brain healthy, your lungs and your heart. Okay, and so those are, oh, and managing stress, because stress is a something that can make you feel unhealthy and make you feel sick and make you feel bad. So, those are some ways to stay healthy. So that was information for both you and your parents. Um, 
on ways that you can stay healthy. And we'll be talking a lot more about different ways to stay healthy, like foods you should eat, exercises you can do. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this lesson for today. Have a good day, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, and I'll be here. I'll be here probably till after three. So if you have any questions, you can.